Should you or should you not wear an undershirt? This is a question that has been asked for ages and there's really no definitive answer. Every time I get asked that question, that's what I tell them. There is no right answer. The only thing is that you have to wear it right, just like anything in menswear. So actually wearing an undershirt has many benefits. For example, it avoids those big, ugly sweat stains from seeping through through your dress shirt or maybe even through your suit or whatever it is that you're wearing. A good t-shirt is made so it can absorb the sweat and now allow it to surpass any of your outer layers. Another good benefit is that it protects your clothing, especially if it's expensive, not even if it's expensive clothing. If you're wearing a $50 dress shirt, you do not want to get those really horrible yellow pit stains that are almost impossible to remove. Usually when I get those yellow pit stains, I either have to throw away the shirt or I just stop using it because it just looks ugly. So wearing a quality undershirt will help you avoid that. And then another final thing is that if it's a really good undershirt, that undershirt will actually help compress your body a little bit so it will make you look slimmer. This is why I usually recommend a product like Ripped Tee. These undershirts are amazing. They're made with all of these pros in mind. The cloth is 50% more absorbent than just regular cotton or a regular Hanes shirt that you can get at Walmart. It's lightweight and breathable. It's also cut a little bit longer, which makes it nicer to tuck and it will help keep that t-shirt tucked in all day. And finally, one of my favorite attributes is that it has a very, very deep V. So this allows you to unbutton a couple buttons from your dress shirt and people won't even know that you're actually wearing an undershirt and you still get all those benefits. Now I mention this because where there are downsides to wearing an undershirt if it's not done right. For example, one downside is that it imprints. So you will see an imprint over your dress shirt of you wearing an undershirt. And finally, it doesn't allow you to unbutton some of your buttons from your dress shirt. The last thing you wanna do is have is wear a t-shirt under your dress shirt and have your t-shirt underneath showing. So if you can find a t-shirt that avoids those cons, like I just went over, like from Red T, then it's perfectly fine for you to wear a dress shirt. Not only that, it'll probably be recommended if you're a heavy sweater or you suffer from really bad yellow pit stain. So how good is Rip T though? Well, this whole video, I've actually been wearing a Rip T undershirt underneath but I bet you didn't even notice. And that should be the purpose of an undershirt. You shouldn't even be able to tell that the user is actually wearing it. However, I understand if you're a guy that still refuses to wear an undershirt, that's completely fine as well. But if you're suffering from the yellow pit stains, I also got a solution for you in this video. So the problem is that if you don't wear an undershirt, you'll look great, you'll look amazing, the only problem is that if you sweat a lot, you'll get really bad deodorant yellow stains underneath your shirts. And I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. So I got a solution for you guys. I found this product called Dio Go. It had amazing reviews and they claimed that it could remove yellow pit stains like that. So I tried it on one of my white dress shirts and the thing actually works. It's amazing. So if you're the type of guy that doesn't want to wear t-shirts, but it's still suffering from the yellow pit stain, you definitely need to pick up a product like this. That way you can actually recover your dress shirts and remove those really bad yellow stains. And it's very easy to use. You just spray it on, you let it sit for 30 minutes, you wash it and the stains are just gone. All right guys, so that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to hit up that like up button, helps me out. Also, don't forget to share this video so we can reach and teach more men. See you next time.